Hi guys, welcome to this session. In this session, we're going to talk about how we can make use of the chat GPT AI tool in order to get a lot of optimization suggestions for our Facebook ads campaigns. So there are a lot many things which we can get as suggestions from chat GPT, which is, can be around account structure, campaign structuring, which we can do with the AI tool. It can also give us some ideas about the ad copies, which we want to run on the, uh, on the campaigns. Also landing page optimizations can be suggestions that we can get from the tool. It can also provide us suggestions around what kind of audience targeting should we do for a particular brand. Also the online sales campaign structure, which we can, which we would like to run for different companies. And then the bidding strategy suggestions as well. What type of bidding would be really useful for a particular brand? It can give us some ideas about that. We can also see some campaign optimization tips, which it can provide us, which we can implement on our campaigns. And then we can, if we want, we can also build a, complete Facebook ads brand strategy also from the tool. So let's have a look at this guys, how we can use the tool for all these suggestions. So once we go to chat GPT, you can go to their homepage and you can go ahead and sign up and open an account with them. And we can use the free version itself for all these suggestions. So here we can start providing all the prompts which we can give for the suggestions which we want. One thing which we need to make sure here is that the prompts which we provide need to be very specific so that it becomes more clearer to the AI tool to provide us the right suggestions. So let's begin this with the first suggestion, which is around account structure. So let's say we are going to give us choose a particular brand first. So let's say this is the brand for which we want to take all, give, get all the suggestions from the AI tool. This is a brand which is total, which is into specifically uh, selling free screen activity toys, wooden toys for kids, specifically toddlers and, and ages above six to 12 years. So for them, we want some campaigns to be built out. So let's begin with this. So let's say uh, we are going to say that we, are, we want them to look at this website. So we want to see the account structure. What will be the meta ads account structure for this? Okay, so we can look at in this manner. So now if you see, they're looking at the particular website, total.ae and give us a, the structure for that. So there can be campaigns like this parent resource, toddler education, and based on which we can get the ad group structure as well. What can be the ad groups for it? And then what kind of ad copies can be created for that? So in this manner, we can have that in place. Now let's say we can go a little bit more specific around what specific meta ads campaigns should be run for the brand. So now the tool can look at the brand and give us specific uh, campaign types as well. So let's say it can be related to uh, awareness campaigns, a preschool program campaign, which we can run as well, resource campaign, and what can be the ad groups for it? What kind of messaging we want to give in the ads? So all that suggestion, the tool will give to us. And this we can certainly use in our campaign structure building. The other things which we can do here now is the ad copy creation. So we can create some ad copies as well. So let's say we want to create some headlines and descriptions for this particular brand, which we can use with some character limits. So we can give it in that manner. So we can say that And then we can also ask for some descriptions. With character limits suggested over here. So now with that, it is going to give us the headlines and descriptions as well. As you can see, we have got the headlines and descriptions, which we can make use of now. 
which looks quite relevant to the brand. So the brand, what they are selling, it looks pretty relevant to the brand and we can make use of these to build out our ad copies and get more ideas about what all other language or messaging can we use in the ads. In addition to this landing page optimization, so we can look at some suggestions which we can take. We can ask that they can look at the page itself and give us some suggestions around how we can improve the website. So now the tool will scan and go through that and give us some ideas around what all suggestions can we do, what all things can be done over here in this particular manner. So we can get those suggestions as well and try to implement them on the website so that we can improve the user experience when people land on this website. Also, we have audience targeting suggestions which we can take from the tool as well. So we can say like they suggest some audience targeting. So now it will look at meta ads and based on that, it can give us some audience targeting. So you can see it can give us demographic targeting, which we can do interest-based targeting, geographical targeting, so all that can we come over here. And this looks relevant because we are into the business of selling uh, toys for kids. So educational professionals, okay, working parents, parents seeking enrichment activities. So these are all relevant audience targeting, which the tool is suggesting us, which we can seriously go ahead and implement on the campaigns. Apart from this, we also can ask for a particular, let's say we want to sell the product. So we want to get an online sales campaign structure. So we can get that as well. So now they can give us the clear structure as well, what we would like to use over here with keywords, with, with ads targeting, okay, audience targeting, all of that we can get out here, which we can now use to build out the structure on our Facebook ads platform. Also, if you see, we can ask for bidding strategies, what bidding strategies would be best, okay? So we can ask for that as well. And we're going to ask for specifically uh, meta bidding strategies over here. So you can see it is giving us the bidding strategies as well, uh, which can be used out here, ideally speaking, which we can certainly look at and possibly use it in our campaigns and prioritize what bidding strategy would really work well for the brand. Other than this, we can also look for campaign optimization tips. Uh, from the AI tool as well. So looking at the brand, we can ask for what all different meta campaign optimizations can be done out here. So now they can give us some particular idea about what all optimizations can be done out here specifically, so which we can also consider using and implementing in the campaigns. So you can see there are a lot of different types of suggestions, which ideally the AI tool, the chat GPT tool can give us, which can be implemented and used to start optimizing very fast. It reduces the lot of time of strategizing and planning out what all optimizations should be done for the brand. And then lastly, we can also ask to get a Facebook ads brand strategy built for a brand as well. So we can ask for that as well. In this manner, we can ask for a particular brand strategy built out. So what will be the defining objectives? What kind of ideally the audience targeting would be for them? Okay, ad format. So this can be the beginning of it when we are about to start managing a particular client's uh, business or ads account, uh, we can ask for a brand strategy 
setup which can be done. So this gives us a, a good top view overview about the brand and how to pursue with them, move forward with them. So measurement and optimizations wherein we can set up the Facebook ads pixel, uh, budget allocation, scheduling, all these we can put it as a particular process in place and then use that to ideally went ahead and manage those campaigns in a much more effective manner. I hope this makes sense. Now you understand how we can use ChatGPT for various reasons to optimize, manage, control the uh, meta ads campaigns, run the campaigns in a much more effective manner. We can get tons of ideas, suggestions from the tool, which can be implemented on the campaign, which can really help to get better performance, better ROI for our businesses. Thank you so much guys for listening into this session today and I will see you in the next video.